Hello everyone. My name is Shonjoy Kumar Shah. I am a master's course student in Hokkaido University, Japan. I am from Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. Today, I'm going to talk about arrow structural analysis of flexible structure membrane arrow shell. The content of my presentation includes introduction and background of this research. I will talk about previous research and objective of the study. And finally, show you the result. So let's get started. We all know about the collapse of Tacoma narrow base. Aeroelastic flutter caused this catastrophic failure. Flutter phenomena is also common in aircraft wing. In these cases, the effect of fluid interaction with solid is significant as like in moving ships. Study of the interaction of fluid and solid helps in predicting the dynamics of a system. Fluid structure interaction occurs when a fluid flow interact with a solid body. The flow may exert pressure and thermal loads. Solid may deform or move due to external forces driving the fluid flow or exert, exert thermal loads on the fluid. Atmospheric entry is one of the crucial phases of space flight because of high aerodynamic heating, communication blackout, and aerodynamic instability. Conventionally, capsules with rigid heat shield had been used to survive the harsh environment of atmospheric entry. Nowadays, attention has been focused on entry vehicles with flexible structure instead of conventional rigid capsules. The membrane aerosol for atmospheric entry capsule, MAC, is a project to develop a flexible reentry capsule, which consists of a capsule, a flexible aerosol, and a torus to maintain its shapes. The advantages of the capsule are that it can decelerate at high altitudes where the atmosphere is less dense because it has a large area and light weight and also avoid aerodynamic overheating. It eliminates the need for the difficult operation of parachute deployment. It reduces communication blackout. Also, it can be folded compactly when launched by a rocket. Previous research. In 2012, as a part of the project, a flight test has been conducted to measure its attitude behavior and characteristics. The spacecraft was equipped with a variety of instrument to measure position and attitude data, as well as temperature and pressure history of each part of the spacecraft. As for the attitude behavior, the attitude instability has been confirmed in the transonic region. Ohashi, in his master's thesis, conducted numerical analysis of a spacecraft with flexible membrane inflatable structure and evaluated the effect of flexible structure on aerodynamic forces. This graph shows comparison of aerodynamic coefficient between flexible structure model and rigid body model. We can find that the deformation of the spacecraft affected the aerodynamic forces. But it is still an open question whether the deformation of the membrane surface contributes to the aerodynamic instability or not. Well, as I mentioned earlier, there are issues about surface deformation and aerodynamic instability. The flexible structure model confirmed 
that the aerosol will be deformed due to the fluid flows and flexible materials of it. This means we need to consider coupled analysis model such as FSI. So the objective of this study is to develop the FSI analysis model. Through this model, we try to reveal the detailed dynamic behavior of MAC that leads to better design and development of atmospheric entry systems. Numerical model. Here, I would like to introduce the numerical model consists of ACU2, open form, and calculix using the coupling library precise. The numerical parameters are described here in ACU2. Parallel computation has been made with domain decomposition and structural nonlinearity has been applied in calculix. In open form, Gauss linear appoint scheme is used with pimple foam solver for the incompressible fluid. Precise is the coupling library between the solvers. Data of the coupled interface is passed between the solvers by a precise library. The numerical setup for open form precise calculix is shown here. Euler implicit time integration with standard Smagorinsky model is used for the analysis. In case of ACU2 precise calculix model, second order accuracy backward difference time integration is used with linear solver FGM RES. The analysis models has been verified by the FSI benchmark cases. This is an example of the SC2 precise calculus model. Analysis model. This is the model for our analysis. The outer diameter of this aerosol is 80 millimeter and the flare angle is 70 degree. The material is oven fabric with high strength and flame retardant xylon fiber. And the outer ring is a solid aluminum ring. Computational conditions. The detail of the computational condition is shown here. Aerodynamic forces and displacement data is shared between the solvers only at the weight surface. Here, I will show you the result of our wind tunnel experiment. Let me show you first. It was confirmed that the model was deformed and vibrated by the force from the fluid flowing in from the far left side of the screen. We can observe the swing motion of the aerosol. The number of vibrations usually confirmed, visually confirmed, from the high speed camera image was about 50 hertz. The left figure shows the time history response of the output voltage of the piezo frame sensor, and the right figure shows the frequency analysis of the output voltage by fast Fourier transform. 51 hertz is the peak frequency, which is close to the vibration frequency of the high speed camera. Here, you can see the FSI analysis result from the before mentioned two model. The oscillation is well captured by open form precise calculus model. You can see here in the simulation results, the oscillation of the aerosol. Time history data for the lift and moment coefficient as well as displacement is shown here. You can observe the fluctuating behavior in these properties. The CL and CM values oscillate about 52 hertz, which is the same, closely same 
frequency as the swinging motion. This confirm that the swing motion also affect the aerodynamic forces. Time history data for the CL, CM and displacement calculated by SU2 precise calculix model is shown here. Similar fluctuating behavior is observed. The frequency analysis has been carried out by the first Fourier transform. In this case, the CL and displacement value oscillated about 59 hertz, but the moment pitching moment coefficient oscillated about 76 hertz, which is different than the frequency of the swinging motion. The reason behind this difference might be that the numerical convergence is not yet reached due to the shorter time duration of the analysis. Further investigation is needed for validation. Frequency analysis. Let me show the frequency analysis of vibration. The graph in the middle shows the time history of the displacement in the x direction at the yellow dot in the upper left image. The aerosol shakes with different amplitude, indicating that the fluid and the structure are moving together rather than the structure itself vibrating. This behavior can be seen in the movie of the experiment. The frequency analysis of this vibration by fast Fourier transform is shown in the right figure. It is confirmed that the aerosol is vibrating at the frequency around 52 hertz. In summary, we have conducted experiment and simulation focusing on behavior of flexible structure in airflow. We are able to get the frequency of the vibrating motion and reproduce the experiment in the simulation. In the future, we would like to take a closer look at the relationship between the deformation of the model and the aerodynamic coefficients, specifically the displacement and aerodynamic coefficient were matched in frequency in the simulation. But I would like to look at the time history to see if the phases are completely synchronized or if there is a phase difference. If you have any questions regarding our research, please feel free to contact us with these emails. Thank you everyone for your patience. That's all.